Well, so many outdoor events taking place this weekend, including the Putnam and Lawrence County Fairs. Oh, it's really been awesome. The weekend fun kicked off tonight with the return of live outdoor music. 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas, she joins us now. And Larissa, that was hands down the largest crowd I have ever seen at Live on the Levee. People are just so excited. It was. Downtown Charleston really came alive tonight with two outdoor concerts, one at Appalachian Power Park, the other a Miss Usual here at Haddad Riverfront Park. Chris McAllister is happy to be playing the music of Leonard Skinner in his hometown of Charleston. I mean, there's nothing more American than Leonard Skinner. He lives in Huntington now and travels around the southeast playing music. But as the opening acts for the Live on the Levy concert series, he says the crowd on Friday was humbling. We were told to expect a few thousand people. We did. I mean, they, we were told back there that they are estimating eight to ten thousand. So it's like that's awesome. <laughs> In Appalachian Power Park, it was also a packed house as many flocked to see Wiz Khalifa and Bone Thugs in Harmony. Security is expecting around 4,000 people here at Appalachian Park, and the concert is sold out. Let's go. I've been coming here my whole life watching the Power Games. It's just awesome to see him show up here and just take time to come down to Charleston, West Virginia. It's super exciting, and the rain held off, so it's, it's going to be a good time. I want to see Bun Thugs and Harmony. I can't wait. So as the summer goes on, there is no question. Music is back in Charleston. And this is awesome what Charleston does this thing for free. I mean, it's just great. Live on the Levee continues every Friday here at Haddad Riverfront Park until October 1st. Reporting live in Charleston, Larissa Casillas, 13 News, working for you.